What's up, YouTubers? It's me, Sly17 British Brick Studios, back here again with another video. And today we're going to go through all the LEGO Mario sets that I currently have. Both sets being the LEGO Mario Starter Course, the LEGO Luigi Starter Course, and all three of the LEGO Luigi's Mansion sets. We're going to start off with this set, and we're going to, um, Today, in this video, I actually mean to tell you how it works. So I'm going to start off with Mario. I can turn him on. Lego Mario time. And I'm going to take him over here. This barcode over here, it, um, it starts like a little game you can play. What it does here is this. Here we go! Start counting time. This over here, the question block. This, um... This gives Mario a power, like a mushroom or invincibility star. It can even give him coins as well. There's also this cloud here. When you put them on, you can, like... Let me try that again. You can do this with him when he's on the cloud, like a flying pan. Over here, there's this enemy. You can scan him with Mario. That gives him coins. I usually place music when you put them on. So that's what happens when you run. That's what happens when you run out of time. So that so what this does here, you put them on, this music will play, and you spin them around. I'm going to play the music again. So over here, there's this, like, boss. This boss panel. So what you do here is, you stomp on him. So over here, there's this... You can use this code, barcode to stomp on him. Like this. And over here, this ends the game. Oh, yeah! Now I just want to talk to you about the texture of this level. So if you want to... So if he scans green, then that's grass. He thinks it's grass if you scan green. Blue, he, he'll think it's water. And red is lava. Red is bad for him. And this yellow texture here. Sand. This over here, brick. But the purple poison. So now we're... So over here, this little barcode, you scan it. 
And this shows up on his screen. Over here, there's this, this enemy, which you can stomp on, like the one from before. But if you have Yoshi, this will happen. Yoshi will eat the enemy. Over here, there's this, like, I don't even know the name for it. Like a seesaw thing. And over here, there's this gear, which you can turn. So now I'm going to um, start playing this music. And show how it's played through. So you just turn them upside down and stomp them. You have to stomp them for a longer time than Bowser Jr. So we're going to go over here now. And then the level. And now let's proceed onwards to the Luigi's Mansion sets. Lego Luigi time. So we're going to use Luigi. So we're going to go through all three Lego Luigi's Mansion sets. And I'm going to explain to you every single one of them. So this start point is very different from the start point used in the Mario games. When you scan it, this music plays. You go through the gate. Yeah. Those things that make those things make the door open and close. And over here, there's this pointer pup. I scan the bone to give to him. Now over here, there's this ghost, which you have to knock over with this black ball. Actually did it this time. Now when you scan them, this happens. Over here, you can interact with this character, Professor E. Gan. You cut the sir. And this happens. Now over here. Now over here you can pull this lever down. And you can scan this. This gives you coins. These. Now over here. These are like hazards. The purple one's like a hazard. The purple potion's like a hazard. But the blue one isn't. Now over here, there's this... This power-up which you can put on the Ouija. 
take his overalls off and put the pearls up on it. Now we're going to give him a vacuum. Now here's what you can do with it. There's a spun here which you can hold down to vacuum anything. So for example you can scan a surface, you can you can vacuum a if you can vacuum anything in this surface. Basically you can vacuum anything on any surface of any colour. Like this but this also has another use. I'm going to take Bob Meyer and do this with him. Before this scared him, but with the pot, but with the spun held down, he can suck up ghosts. It's like in the Luigi's Mansion games. So now I'm going to um now I'm going to play through the mansion. And before I do that, let me just get the flag from the starter course and put it over there. Now let's take Luigi and begin the adventure. Here we go. Oh. Over here, there's this like diamond, which you can pull out of the toilet with that leather and you can scan it and over here this is skirt which you need to vacuum up and you hold this button down and vacuum in there's another diamond which you can scan Here's another ghost you can vacuum, the garbage ghost. You can vacuum the lot. This basically allows you to turn it, so you can go to any room in the mansion. Now I'm going to knock over this ghost. Over here, there's this diamond, which you can um, scan as well. Oh, no. Luigi, number one. And here is another ghost vacuum. To go over here and now we're going to suck up this ghost snuggle table with three red coins on it and basically what you have to do is just try and position the table scan all the coins Yeah. 
Let's try that again. Oh, okay, she's done this. We've got all three coins. Now over here, there's this toad which you have to free from the painting. You can just take him out. And you can put Luigi in. When you put him in a second time, He's now one and truly trapped behind a painting. But take him out. And yeah, he's unfortunately still trapped. You just have to scan it a third time in order to free him. Over here, there is this like boss battle, boss battle with the main ghost, King Boo. So I'm going to take the Ouija with me. Scan this. Because we're going to need music for it. Just, got, just have to fix his hoof up. So I've knocked him over. Now here you can just stomp on him without getting scared. But I prefer to do this with the poltergeist, so he gives nothing. Officially sucked up King Boo. Time has run out. But um, anyway, we are now going to go on to two player mode. So, guys, I have taken this Poltergeist power off, off of Luigi and I've turned on Mario just to show you a very special function. Here at the back of both of both Mario Brothers, you can see these buttons. These turn them on and off, these connect them to Bluetooth, but they can also do something else. So you can like press this button, And as you can see, that's um, that's appeared on the screens. They've now gone into what's called two-player mode. So in two-player mode, they can like walk together. Yeah. And they'll complement each other for that. They can like scan power ups together. And they can also like jump together.
but there can be times when one of them is in trouble. So for example, I'm going to use this poison tile here. If one of them gets hurt, then the other will compliment them. The other will ask them if they're alright. Like as if they were sentient robots. There's also another way of having one of them in trouble. So I'm going to take the to this toad out painting. I'm going to put my own here. As you can see, Mario is now trapped behind the painting. If you take him out, he's still chained up. But if you put Luigi in, then Mario is freed. They can also work together to fight bosses, for example. Like this. And they can also like work together in a in a start in a game when you scan one of them on a pipe. I'm going to put Mario in. Don't like that because I don't know why. I'm going to have him stomp the Bowser Jr. off the castle. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below what you thought about this video. And if you want to see more Lego Mario videos like this, then I will do one straight away. But anyway, this is, that is it for today, and I will see you guys in the next video.